sure it was another loss. Another day to bash the Bengals, another day to call for Mike Brown's head. Yet it was encouraging to see a game go down to the final seconds, even if the final seconds belonged to the Baltimore Ravens. But there was so much to talk about, although thousands weren't going to even waste their breath or their time coming to the stadium today. Midway through the first quarter, the Bengals tip a Tony Banks pass. Takeo Spikes makes the catch at the Baltimore 25. From the seven, we let Pete Arbogast tell the story. Play action. Blake drops the pass, looking in the end zone. Throws, Pickens a long touchdown, Cincinnati! They have the lead for the first time in seven weeks. A quick series later, the Bengals with a lightning quick, long distance strike. Jeff Blake to Curl Pickens, who makes a sensational over the head catch. It covers 46 yards. From the 23, Darnay Scott runs a post. Jeff Blake throws a strike, 14-0. The Bengals lead at the end of a quarter. In the Baltimore Ravens, the Bengals had found an offense even less productive and less disciplined than their own. Banks was even having trouble staying on his feet. We were up for a change. We made some big plays, and, and so uh, uh, once you play like that and make big plays, you don't have a choice but to, you know, pin a team in the hole and, and, and just fire off the ball and make plays. But late in the second quarter, the Bengals sacked themselves. A third down pass was incomplete, but a penalty gave Baltimore a first down. Under a minute left on the clock, third and inches, Banks changed up with a touchdown pass to wide open Steve DeLong. Still, the Bengals led 14-10 at the half, and for the first time, it seems, in years, retreated to the locker room being cheered. It lasted into the second half. On the Ravens' first series, Michael Bankston and Takeo Spikes got to Banks, and then Spikes got to the fumbled ball. But then the Bengals bobbled. Rod Jones gets hit with a false start on third down. And then, when Doug Pelfrey kicked a field goal, Marco Battaglia was whistled for a false start, so Pelfrey had to kick it over again. This time, the attempt was deflected by Keith Washington. A grand opportunity, and the Bengals came away with nothing. Killing ourselves. A lot of it is, you know, we're just not getting the plays done. We're just not completing the plays. The turnaround gave the Ravens some spirit. On a third and 15, Banks hit Billy Davis on the run. Come on, somebody tackle him. Somebody hit him. Nobody dealed until Davis had gone 73 yards down to the two-yard line. Two plays later, Eric Rett goes in from the two. Baltimore had its first lead of the game, 17-14. Suddenly, you can hear John Fogarty in the distance. I see a bad moon rising. Jeff Blake tries the middle. Chronic thorn in the side. Rod Woodson takes it the other way. Again, the Bengals stop the pass on third and 13, but this time John Copeland is called for roughing the passer. A play later, Patrick Johnson finds a gap the size of Montana in the Bengals' secondary. The Ravens go ahead by 10 points. Second line, I see trouble on the way, and it happened moments later. Blake trying to make something happen, but Dwayne Starks is thinking, I'm going to make something happen too. He returns an interception, 31 yards, 31-14 Ravens. But give the Bengals credit. Not many of the fans did. They had already packed it in. But not the offense. They proceeded to go swiftly down the field. Corey Dillon got a big hole to run through. He galloped all the way down to the Ravens' 15-yard line. From the 15, Blake got good protection. He showed good patience and accuracy to Darnay Scott. The margin was again 10 after three quarters. It stayed that way until Baltimore punted the ball to Craig Yeast, four minutes into the fourth period. He made a man miss. He got a couple of blocks, at least one very questionable block, and then he raced down the sidelines. There was a flag following him, and he had to wonder, is this all for naught? My first feeling was, I can't believe I finally got in the end zone. <laughs> Second, uh, please, don't, please, Lord, don't let it get called back. With nine minutes left in the game, the Bengals were within three points. On the next drive, Banks slipped. He got sacked for a loss. And then on the very next play, the Ravens executed a screen pass well. But Myron Bell broke through the interference. He dropped Chuck Evans short of a first down. The Bengals had 80 yards to go. They again drove it well. The flip to Dillon picks up more than the necessary yardage on a fourth down and three. From the nine, Blake looked for Tony McGee, but Ray Lewis was hanging all over him. The Bengals had the ball at the one. But first, two running plays didn't get the Bengals anything but a yard further away. Then on third down, Blake found Tony McGee in the back of the end zone. Our camera shows he had the feet down, but he hadn't put the ball away. It made the catch, and 
but you know you can't leave it up to the officials to make the call. So I mean, I just got to hold on to it a little bit better and not even, you know, make it a, a judgment call. Doug Pelfrey then had no difficulty in hitting a 19-yard field goal. This game was tied at 31 with a minute 50 seconds left to play. In that remaining time, the Ravens nickeled and dimed the Bengals' defense to death. Here was one play the Ravens made. Banks to Raheem Ishmael down to the Bengals' 31-yard line. But then a couple of plays the Bengals didn't make. 16 seconds left. Rodney Heath almost picked off this pass. Almost. Then 11 seconds left. Brian Simmons almost sacked Banks. Almost. But he spun away and he fired a pass to Aaron Pierce. It was just enough yardage to set up a final kick. This one from 50 yards away. Matt Stover's right down the middle. And it's like a dagger through the heart of these desperate Bengals who lose for the 10th time in 11 games. It's a blow to the ego because, I mean, you know, people can say what they want, but when you get down like we got down and we just kept fighting and kept fighting, and when you don't get the results and you know you've worked hard, you know you fought, that's, that's, the, very, that's the disappointing part.